everyone. everyone. I'm Anna Sophia filling in for Nadine this week. This week in news, the Summer U Pass results have officially come in and the Summer U Pass will be available for May through August. And Nadine Yusuf has the story on Black History Month and what Carlton is doing to celebrate. That's this week in news. Hi guys, this week in sports, Cameron Penny and Sam Lee cover both games of Capitol Hoops. Walt Meyer Harris wrote about the cheerleading team who came in first in the Big East Blast. All that and more, this week in sports. This week in arts, Duncan Chalmers wrote about the, the Queers concert happening at Mavericks. Also, Ashley Wanyev profiled local rapper Probably Raymond. All that and more, this week in arts. Hi everyone, this week in National, Admiral Bensadoon looks at how video game programs at colleges are attempting to close the gender gap. And after 106 years, University of Alberta's student paper is stopping printing and going online. Riley White has a story on that. All that and more, this week in National. Hey everyone, this week in Features, Gabby Van Leeuwen wrote about students' work-life balance and how it affects their well-being. And that's this week in Features. Hey guys, this week in Op-Ed, Michael Buchert says that the Board of Governors is undermining student representation with a new policy that he says gags board members. And then over in the sex blog, Emily Hawes looks at how casual sex can affect your mental health. All that and more this week in Op-Ed. Hey everyone, this week in the multimedia section, we have infographics in the news section about the unofficial results from the summer U-Pass referendum. As well, the sports section has men's and women's cap hoop slideshows. All that and more this week in the Charlatan.